Hi, this is Katie. And this is Brett. And we are so excited for our next Reddit Twice episode. That's number four for those of you counting and tuning in. Yes, it's the next episode and it's a whale of a show. And one deserving the proper time and thought to do its service. So what is it? What are we doing? The magnificent Herman Melville novel Moby Dick is our next deep dive. Oh, woo! Woo! Uh, both reading and conducting research for this classic and uncovering the beautiful depth and language and prose, well, uh, we didn't want to shortchange this masterpiece in truly original American novel. That's right, Brett. It speaks to us directly from the 19th century and yet strangely in an ageless manner. So as we work to finish episode four, which we're hard at work right now, <laughs> we didn't want to just leave you stranded at sea floating aimlessly amongst the waves of cyberspace. We decided to make this promo update to keep you posted on our progress so you can also jump aboard your vessel of choice and read along with us to get ready for the upcoming podcast. And in addition, we thought um, it'd be special to send you a live video of Katie and I singing a beautiful song that um, it really captures the mood we have found ourselves in as we make our way through Melville's epic tale. It's a song by Gary Brooker and Keith Reed, recorded and released by Procol Harum in the spring of 1968. It's a song I personally have always loved, and um, it was the first song that popped into my head when thinking of doing this promo because of all the sea references. Oh, and you know how much I love a seafaring song. I know you do. <laughs> so coming up in a second, our performance, live at Chateau Fernance of A Salty Dog, a gift from our spring to yours. From our island to yours. From our coast to yours. As the oceans we share ebb and flow together. Enjoy the song. All hands on deck, we've run afloat. I heard the captain cry. Explore the ship Replace the cock Let no one leave alive Across the straits Around Salty dog, the seaman. 
Your witness, my.